Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynn If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel, well, it's all about crochet. A little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn. Mostly, it's about my journey through this fantastic yarning community. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Monday with me this solemn Monday, this uh, Memorial Day 2024. Um, I hope you, uh, take a few minutes to reflect on the meaning of this day. Uh, you know, I know it's, it's the start of the summer season and parties and cookouts and whatnot, but there's a real meaning behind this day. And, uh, uh, we all are in debt and owe a ton of gratitude to service members and their families who paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, with their lives to keep our country free and safe from those who wish to do us harm. So happy Memorial Day um, and uh, now let's kick off summer. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, uh, Mondays are my make along Monday update and I finished both of my month make alongs. I'll show you the other one late, uh, next Monday. I finished all three. Um, I finished my three squares for the, uh, hip to be squared Mal. I'll show you those next Monday. They're in the living room cause I finished them yesterday when I was, uh, watching, what was left of the races man that brain just messed up my day big time yesterday um our tradition is always we get up we have breakfast we watch the indianapolis 500 we putz around for the afternoon and then we watch the coca-cola 600 it was and we were gonna have a guy who ran both races it was gonna be an ex and then the rain decided now forget it. You're not getting it. We got a really late start on the Indianapolis 500 and they didn't even finish the Coca-Cola 600. So boo, hiss, boo, rain. Mother nature, what's the matter with you? Anyway, um, but so I finished those squares while I was watching, uh, what coverage there was of the race. But last week I finished the baby item for the hooker versus hookers. So hooker versus hookers, that's the brainchild of Laura at Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming and uh, Jan, the Alaskan crafter. They got together and they are doing this fun little experiment in um, who can make the be thing the best. Um, there's no prizes. It's just for bragging rights. It's Laura and Jan, another podcaster and a subscriber in competition with each other. And then everybody else kind of joins in. So for the month of May, it was a baby item. Well, I don't have a whole lot of baby babies in my life, although my niece is going to have a baby soon and I probably could have made something for her. But uh, anyway, I made a toddler, which is still baby in my mind, cause she's still my baby, um, bathing suit cover up. And I finished it and I love the way it came out. It has this little strap for around the neck and then it's this mesh. And then you can see I added yellow and green at the bottom and it's got these yellow and green, uh, granny squares. And then this cute little button that's even yellow and green, uh, this pattern is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It's called the Island Princess Bathing Suit Cover Up. Um, I'll link it in my description box below. It has from size, I want to say 18 months to like a 10, 12. So if you have a, a bigger little girl in your life who you want to do this with, you can. I used uh, True Boo uh, in white, yellow, and celery and I used a 3.75 millimeter hook but it came out real and you can do this if you can do double crochets and chains you've got this and it's adorable and so this will be getting shipped off to uh, my granddaughter Olivia uh, next week just because Nina made her a bathing suit cover up so that is hooker versus hooker checked. 
Now, tonight at seven o'clock, I do believe they will be revealing what the June project is and uh, they will be going live. I don't know if it's gonna be on Jan or uh, Laura's channel. So check YouTube around seven o'clock think seven o'clock Eastern. I wouldn't swear to it. Check it out. Go check them out. Find out. Don't miss the live. It's going to be fun. This is going to be torture for Jackie and I'm loving every minute of it. So Jackie from Crochet ADHD is the podcaster this month who is going to be making whatever the project is. So um, this is going to be fun. Uh, you guys, this month is going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. So that's hooker versus hooker. The next make along that I finished is for Judy's crochet, uh, creations and crochet, her bird mail. So let me pop a picture of the bird in here. It's like a toucan, beautiful colors. Um, and I made the tendril shawl by Carmen Heffernan. And here we go. It's this beautiful asymmetrical boomerang shawl. And it is very easy to do. Uh, you can see it's a four row repeat of V stitches and cluster V's. Um, and then you just put this little Pico edge on the end of it. It comes with its own edging um, with the tendrils. I used hedgehog fibers in uh, the colorway Genie and a four and a half millimeter hook. And uh, this is, um, it was 400 meters of 90% superwash merino, 10% nylon. I had just a little teeny tiny little bit left over. I used the whole skein. So you can call this a one skein wonder. It is so pretty and it has all the, you can see it better on this side, but it has all the colors, the black, the teal, the green, the bright yellow, the pink, the magenta, the turquoise. It has all the colors in it. And if I were going to wear this, and believe me, it's way too hot for me to wear it today, but this is how I would style it. I would either do it like this with a cute pin right here, or you could even do it bandana style. You just tuck the edges in and you've got this cute little bandana style. I, I think I like it better with it hanging down a little bit. So you got the front and the back hanging down and put a little pretty shawl pin right here. There we go. There you go. And you can just, you zhuzh it up and make it look real cute. And I think with the right outfit, like say if you're going to a wedding and you just want a, a pretty, you know, something sparkly to wear, you could pull this off with a cute sundress for the summer. Cause this is lightweight. It is not scratchy. It's not stiff. It is, it's really cute. Really, really cute. So yeah, it, it was a fun shawl to make. It was mindless. TV, because uh, once you've got the four row repeat down, you're done. You just go and go and go and go and go. And it's so, so pretty. So, yay. So that is done. Pictures sent and everything. I am so ahead of the game. I sent my pictures to Jan for Hooker versus Hooker, and I sent my pictures to Judy. And I will be posting on Facebook, I forgot to do that, but for Lucas's, from Lucas Yarns, a symmetrical shawl along, this will be part of that too, because I double dipped. So there you go. There is the uh, Judy's Creations and Crochet slash Lucas uh, asymmetrical shawl. We have the Tendril shawl by Carmen Heffernan. Again, I have it listed in my description box below. This was a free pattern on Ravelry. So those are all my make-alongs. So last night, while we were watch, waiting for, you know, through the rain delay, I, I've i been working on my um, Tunisian sampler shawl. 
for my crochet along. Um, and I was working on the lighthouse shawl just because I love that. And I, I was just working on it, but I got to the point where I'm like, Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I need to do something different. Something that I don't, you know, just something a little bit different. And so I said to my husband, I said, Tom, what do I need to make? And give me an idea. What should I make? He says, make another one of those little stuffed animals. Those are cute. And I looked at him I'm like, Oh, really? He's like, yeah, they're really cute. Make another little stuffed animal. And I said, well, I don't know if I have the right yarn. He looked at me like I had five heads. And so I came into here and said, okay, yeah, maybe I've got the yarn to make some stuffed animals. So I came in and the first one that I saw was this stuff that I got from uh, Goucher, the little shop here in South uh, Daytona. This is a number five bulky. It is... 70% cotton, 30% acrylic. There's like 160 yards on here. It is a bulky number five. And of course there's no colorway, but it was just creams and browns. And I thought, well, I'll make a teddy bear because it would make a cute little teddy bear. And I had two of them. And I was looking on Ravelry to, to find a pattern for a teddy bear when I came across Edgar the Elephant. with his little floppy ears and his little weird nose. Now I added the, the nose here because it, without it, it looked really, really weird. But now he looks more like a dog than an elephant, but I don't care. He's adorable. And he also has a peg leg. Even though the stitch count is the same, this leg is smaller than this leg. The poor guy. <laughs> he has floppy ears, a weird nose, and a weird leg. And I, and I put an effluent tail on him because, you know, why not? Effluents have tails, right? This yarn is soft and fuzzy. I think it's a perfect choice for a uh, amigurumi stuffed animal type thing. Um, this really took me just a couple of hours. I think I started it about 7 o'clock and by 10, 10.30, it was done only because I had to make the nose twice and I had to make the e one ear twice because for whatever reason, the one of the ears I made way too small. So I had to make a second, a third ear and, but it's basically no sew. Well, you have to sew on the nose and you have to sew on the ears. And then I just made up my own little chain for his tail. Um, and then it was like, what am I going to do for the eyes? Cause I have the little cartoon eyes. I have the little cart eyes that have the colors behind them. Well, I tried all of them before I put the backs on, of course, none of them looked right. So I just used the plain black dots. So Edgar, the elephant dog boy mix, but this was, I mean, I think I've kind of been bit by the amigurumi bug, you guys. These are so cute and they don't take that much time to do. I mean, granted, don't ever expect that one that Juan did with all the squares, the dragon, which was gorgeous and beautiful. Yeah, no, I'm never going to do that. But these little guys, these little squishy stuffies that are basically no sew, you know, you just make a circle and then you make the body and then you split off for the legs and sew on a couple of ears kind of got bitten by the amigurumi bug. I have this much left over and I'm honestly thinking about making a teddy bear because I think this would make a really cute teddy bear. Something about this size. Um, I used a six millimeter hook. The pattern, uh, which is a free pattern and I will list it in my description box below. She called for a six and a half millimeter hook. I think I should have gone down even further because you can see the stitches are so wide you can see inside um, and stuffing coming out and whatnot. I was, I put the eyes through the stitch instead of in the space. So it caught more of it. So it's not gonna pop out through the space. But yeah, I think I would have gone down a hook size if, I mean, the pattern was for a bulky five and this is a bulky five, but I think I would have definitely I should have gone down to probably a five and a half 
maybe even a five. Um, it probably would have made a much, much smaller Edgar the Ethelant, but um, that's okay. But anyway, so here's Edgar. I don't know what I'm going to do with Edgar. Uh, he's going to go to one of my grandchildren for sure. I am going to make that uh, fruit stripe gum horse for my grandson Carter for his birthday, but I'm going to make it in the Chicago Bears colors because it's a horse and he's a Colts fan and his dad is a Chicago Bears fan, so it's going to cover two bases. But Edgar's going to have to find a home. So anyway, I, I can't, honestly, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit um, beclumped and stumped that I actually liked doing this, but it was fun and I, it, and it went fast. And I've got a ton of really nice, soft yarn to make really cute amigurumis. So I have this really pretty gold like chenille and I think I'm going to make something out of that. Maybe a dragon, a golden dragon. Wouldn't that be cool? Or a duck? So my head's kind of spinning with ideas. We'll see what I come up with. I really don't need any more projects because, you know, I've got a lot going on. I've got my make along for uh, the Tunisian Tuesday make along. I still got to finish that lighthouse shawl, which by the way, I love. I can't wait to show you on Wednesday. I have sweaters I want to make. I have birthday presents. I was supposed to make my daughter a blanket for her birthday. I don't know if I'm going to get it to it. I got the yarn for it, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it. She wants one of those six day star blankets, but it's gotten so hot so fast here that I think I'm going to put that off until Christmas because the idea of putting a blanket over my lap on the days when it's 94 degrees outside, our air conditioner has a hard time keeping up and it's just too hot to to crochet a blanket. So I'm going to stick to little things for a while, like shawls and amigurumis and uh, sweaters that I can do in pieces. Um, and I do want to make my uh, granddaughter Carson, she wants a, a tank top. So I, I've got a lot of things that I want to do, but I think these are going to kind of pop in here or there because they were a lot of fun. I, my uh, favorited list on Ravelry jumped from like seven pages to almost 11 because I went through, I want to make that, I want to make that, I want to make that, I want to make that. <laughs> Did you guys watch Needles at the Ready? The the little cats that they made for their uh, niece and nephew for their first birthday? That's on my list. I think I want to make that. So, and that's made with fingering weight yarn or DK weight yarn. So it's like, ooh, I just got all of that beautiful, uh, Mary Maxim Ultra, Ultra Spun DK. I'm like, oh, wouldn't that make a cute something or other? So my head is spinning with all these little amigurumis. So we'll see where this takes us. Um, okay, enable or alert. Um, I have seen emails from Hersters and from Mary Maxim that they're having free shipping deals this weekend. Um, Mary Maxim, I know for sure you have to buy five items and then you'll get free shipping. I don't remember what, uh, Hershner's is. Um, I know that Little Knits is having, they have some Noro on sale with an extra 20% off of two varieties of it. So there's a lot of yarn deals out there, you guys. If you are looking for something specific, now is probably a good time to go check it out. Um, Last I looked, Joann's had 20% off your whole order if you use the online. So that was my enabler alert. Just thought I'd share with you. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go uh, so you can enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Um, make sure that you say a little extra thanks for those um, who we've lost. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and giving yourself some grace. But above all, be kind to everyone and we'll see you tomorrow.